Hey guys, what's going on? Jenko Sports here, back again with another Leicester City FIFA 15 career mode video. And on the eve of what could be the release day of the Football Manager 2015 beta, there could be a lot of Football Manager content coming your way. So fingers crossed that all goes to plan very shortly. So let's make the most of the Leicester City save while we've got the time and my life isn't being consumed by Football Manager. And in true honour of the beta coming out soon, I've moved to my suicide formation, bringing the wingers slightly back forward once again. So as you can see, very, very attacking formation as we go up against QPR should be one of the easier games of the season bearing in mind that okay yes they've got a very strong squad in terms of talent but in terms of their season so far they're only a couple of places above us and you'll see that now they're only 17th in fact so yeah their goal difference is much better but only two points separates us from escaping the relegation zone after 12 games and a target which we really should be accomplishing or at least aiming to accomplish by now as you can see then Bobby Zamora on the bench Arad Ha on the bench Rio Ferdinand on the bench so again a very weak and strong They've still got a newer out there. And then here is how we combat them with our smiley face formation. It seems we've got Ale there. Cambiasso's back in centre midfield. Michael Brighton makes his return to the squad. And we get rid of David Nugent in return for Jamie Varley to see what he can do. So here we go then against QPR. What can we do? Are we able to finally get a win and break a run of consistency? We've been struggling recently. A real streak of bad luck, if anything. I mean, we've been making progress. We're playing better. We're defending a lot better. We just can't seem to create or convert chances. Chances. Here's Danny Drinkwater down to Koncheski. Finds Ale who jumps over his man. Look at this. Is he going to finally score today maybe? Ahead of there by Ochoa. And a big save by the QPR keeper. And look at that. It's an absolute monster in goal. Someone's been on the protein shakes. What an absolute tank. The size of Robert Green is just absolutely insane. He's an absolute monster in size of the goal. So we'll see if that's going to be a factor here today. And whether he can just stand there and get balls fired at him. Or if he's going to have to make an effort and almost... An effort there for one of their players, but big old Wes Morgan jumping in the way, sacrificing himself. And Ale with a shot that gets deflected, meaning that now Leicester win the corner early on. And bearing in mind, most of our goals have come from headers, so we're going to be seeking out the big man, Leonardo Ajoa, to score another one. And we fire that right into double coverage. QPR do very well to cover our target man as Vozilevsky edge of the box. Now he gets a bit of a loose cannon in front of goal, far on the left, right and centre. Not this time, Danny Drinkwater. Plays it up to Jamie Vardy, who loses the ball, and now QPR will try and hit us on the counter. Nothing comes of it, though. As we approach the end of the first half, we've certainly had the better of the Rangers at Loftus Road at the moment. Now, here comes Harriman down the left-hand side, attacking to Hoylett, and we're struggling again defensively, and somehow Wozolewski get into it. Now, we haven't been able to do that in the past couple of games. OK, so we relinquish the ball a couple of seconds later. Schmeichel leaping like a salmon again. But we are intercepting plays before they come to flourish now. This is something that we've really struggled with all season. We've not been able to cut out these attacking moves by the other teams. And for once, our defence is actually looking half decent. You'll see it now that they get a cross in there. A bit of a slip up. But we're able to deal with the danger almost. And then the header goes on goal. So completely contradicting myself there. But now watch this for a challenge. Here comes Wozolewski. Looking to step out the danger. Does absolutely fuck all. And we get it away. Markle Brighton. See once again. Our defence is stepping up. And hopefully if that continues. And the trend follows for the rest of the team. We may even score a goal once in a while. Cambiasso down to Ale. Plenty of space for the little Italian midget. He's not even Italian. So he's just a midget. But Ale makes his way back up to centre field. Looking to try and find a bit of support. There's no one really booming forward at the moment. Jumps off his man. Goes for the shot himself. And that just grazes the top of the bar. On the edge of half time. Still searching for that crucial first goal. To lift his confidence. To boost his morale. He's struggling at the moment. Into the second half. A QPR player has been spin kicked in the mosh pit. And now we're still looking to capitalise on it. The shot gets blocked there and Rob Green lifted up with his giant Hulk hands to see the danger away. Here's Richie to give away a lot of penalties. Finds Michael Brighton who goes it solo, doesn't play it up to Jamie Vardy. How will that pan out for him then? Vardy's got to find some space or Brighton finds Azura in the box and the big header and it just goes wide and the best chance of the game so far sees the start, missed from in front of goal. It should have been a goal really but the head just a bit too wide and now the worst first touch of all time sees QPR retain possession of the ball. So a real shame there for Ojoa. Just that run of inconsistency starting to creep up on him. And maybe time to start thinking about Nugent as a full-time replacement. Now he hasn't scored yet, but his stats have been rising whilst Ojoa has been falling. And that ball almost fell into the bottom corner. That could have been a goal for QPR. Here comes Yunsa going into the box. And what was that? What the absolute f***ery was that? Oh, don't tell me it was... Oh, it's happened again, isn't it? Richie to give away a lot of penalties. He's only gone and done it again. Another penalty. You absolute f***. 
fucking idiot. So now we've got to deal with this then. We've kept QPR at bay for 78 minutes. And Richie, I'm a fucking f***er Dillard, has given away a penalty in the most crucial moment of the match. Charlie Austin steps up against Kasper Schmeichel. Tries to fake either keeper out. Schmeichel stays still. And we're 1-0 down. Absolutely disgraceful. Dillard is literally getting sold as soon as the transfer window comes. You can't be doing that. That's like three or four times it's happened now. All he does is get booked. I think he just spends his whole time at hardcore gigs, like spin kicking everyone and crowd killing. You can't be doing that nowadays, Richie. You've got to, you know, man up a little bit. Take some responsibility. I'm talking to that Charlie Austin now, just trying to maintain possession for QPR. Make sure that they don't surrender this 1-0 lead. That they fought so hard to accomplish. Austin again with another charge. He's through on goal. And the ball just sneaks past the post. Drinkwater claps like it's some sort of circus act. I don't know what pot he's been smoking. But certainly not one to help us win the match. The QPR beat us 1-0 in a very controversial penalty. Well, there's nothing controversial about it. The only controversial fact is that Richie gives away a lot of them. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode, guys. Another loss, unfortunately. And now we face Liverpool. Oh, it's going to be a tough week or so, isn't it? Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this episode from myself, Jenko Sports. I'll see you soon for some more Leicester City action.